Alrighty, well, on today I'm gonna show you how to make a abstract. I've already made one before using some screen and dodging and whatnot, but uh, can't use the same background all the time, so I'm gonna make a new one. And just to kind of show you what that's gonna look like, well, that's that's gonna be a kind of something like this right here. So what I'm gonna do is create a new document and want to set it to the size of my background, or m of my screen really, which happens to be 1280 by 800 on this computer, and I'm going to set this resolution to 300, uh, make sure it's in RGB, and um, uh, let's make this, let's just keep it at white for now, um, press OK, and now we have a blank white document. We're going to draw on that using the gradient tool, and I'm going to set it to foreground to transparent, and my foreground is white at the moment, but I want to change that. I want to pick something more of an orange color. For me, you can choose whatever color you prefer, and then I want to make sure we're on um, this gradient, the reflected gradient, and I'm just going to draw around a couple places, trying to keep away from, you know, certain areas. It doesn't really matter where you get. You can get the whole thing. I just want a little bit of uh, a little bit of white, so it has a little bit of texture. And um, so then what I'm going to do is create a, oh actually, I'm going to go up here and make a filter. I'm going to render a lighting effect. And I want to I want to make this to where it's really, I want to keep all my orange. I really don't want any kind of ambience um, difference, so I really, I'm going to set this to 50. That'll be my original photo um, my original coloring, so I don't have to worry about that, and then I'm going to switch this over to a yellow. My, uh, my color right here. So, the light is kind of a yellowy color now. If you can see these white highlights that we made, they're now a lot more yellow. You can't see it on the preview yet, but, uh, I want to make sure it's in spotlight, and I want to play with these. I really want this kind of wide but not all the way, and the intensity is where it really counts. I can make this really, really, uh, really bright, or not so much. I'm actually going to put a little bit of ambience, so these corners, not, not near that much, but so these corners get a little bit darker, but not near black. So I'm going to press OK. Now we got more of a cool, smooth-looking texture. Looks a little nicer. It's an abstract already, and we haven't really done much. So now I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to go to Render, and this time I'm going to do a Lens Flare. And I'm going to throw this into the uh, top left corner, just click in the top left corner, and it'll put it right there for you. And I want to make it a Movie Prime. Change the brightness up a bit. And press OK. See, now we've got some lines going across. Looks pretty good. And now I'm going to create a new layer above this layer. And I'm going to add, I'm going to go to my elliptical marquee tool, which will select an area. And I just want to draw a nice vertical, vertical ellipse here. And I'm going to just go to my fill tool, or you can just, oh well, just go to the fill tool and uh, press D, then X. That'll switch to white. That's an easy switch. D makes it to the default colors, and then X switches the foreground and background. So now I'm going to fill this with white, and uh, I'm going to grab my eraser tool, set it to rather big, all the way uh, soft, I don't want any hardness in this. And I'm just going to take it like this, and just kind of draw upward. Actually, I want a little smaller brush, not quite as big. Just draw around the edges, making most of it, uh, most of it transparent, but not all of it. What we're gonna do is just go to a filter, blur. I'm gonna do a Gaussian blur, and uh, that, that looks pretty good. I want it pretty smooth looking. I'm going to press Control D. That'll deselect it, and now we have a nice fine edge on these, 
on these sides here. So I'm going to just uh, double click on this layer. I'll bring up the blending options. So I'm going to add a uh, outer glow and an inner glow at the same time. And I'm going to add a satin. And on the satin, I want to I'm gonna make this this will blur it a little bit. Put the anti uh, laced on, and uh, I'm not going to invert it. I'm going to keep it uninverted, and just kind of play around with these sides. I I want it here. I want to change it to my orange, to where it has an orange satin on it. This just kind of gives it that 3D kind of look to it. I'm going to press OK. So now we have this, and I'm just going to press Control T. That'll select my um, my uh, image for transformation, and I'm going to click on this warp tool up here. So now I can warp it to any size and shape I want, really. And uh, I'm going to go with a, a nice, uh, whatever looks nice to you, really. That looks pretty good. And again, this part really doesn't make a big difference, but you may choose something over something else. You know, you may want a specific design. Now I'm just going to duplicate this layer that I just made. So we have two of these now, and I'm going to press Control T on this one. And I'm going to move it around a bit. And I think I'm going to rotate it like this. Maybe make them cross up about right here. Now I'm going to press the warp, and instead of making two of the same looking shapes, just different sizes in different positions, or same size actually in different positions, I'm just going to make this a completely new look by redesigning it. I want to actually make this come all the way out. And these cross up that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna press OK. And you can see it's a it's a really good looking abstract, but it's not quite finished yet. What I want to do is merge these two layers, these two layers. So I'm gonna click on the top one and press Control E. I'm just gonna flatten the image. So now it's all in one image really. And I'm gonna go to filter sharpen unsharp mask this is where I'm gonna yeah, play with the edges you can see already that I'm adding a lot of definition I don't want quite that much but uh, you may play with a high radius and low low amount or high amount low radius but this is making those edges even more defined for you just making everything a little bit sharper. Press OK. See how that looks? It's a lot sharper of an edge. But we're not done yet. What I'm going to do is create a new layer above them. I'm going to change the fill opacity down to zero. And that took away everything. So I'm going to go to Color Overlay. Color Overlay. And um, set the Blend Mode. I'm actually going to go to Blending Options. First set this to Normal. Blending Mode to Normal then go to the cover color overlay and set the blend mode to overlay here. And now when we go through our colors we can see a live preview if I move this out of the way we can see a somewhat live preview of what color we're looking at, what we're going to be looking at when we choose this color. I think I'm going to go with that blue though, that looks pretty nice and just like the other one, you can change the opacity up, down, all around. I'm just going to leave it at that. And you're done. You just save it and make it your desktop. And it should look something like this. Thanks for watching and check out our other tutorials.